What a doll. Isn't this what life is all about? Beautiful children. We talk about our culture, and I know how proud you are of your heritage and all the great stories that we share with one another. And when we see our children, this is a, uh, a living example, living proof of why we do what we do. And I know that this is a fabulous organization. I'm so happy to be part of it uh, for so many years because of the great work that you do. Maria Elena and your organization is just fantastic. I know that you work to make a difference in people's lives. And you help in so many ways with programs that benefit children and families, health programs, educational programs. Congratulations to you. It's my pleasure to be part of this terrific organization that really makes a difference in life. Uh, we've got a great program tonight. Uh, in fact, before I forget, has my camera arrived here? Fox 5 News back there. Hi. Um, you know, this is going to be on our news tonight. You know that, right? So if you're going to be watching at 10 o'clock, I'm going to be talking about this wonderful event. And the camera will be going around. He's going to check everybody. Be careful what you do now. Be careful what you say. Don't do anything strange that could end up on the news or even maybe on YouTube. You, know, you never know. I want you to be very careful, okay? So we're excited about being on Fox 5 News tonight, but more important, we're excited to be here and part of this program. Um, we also have someone who is a co-host tonight. She is so lovely. She is so beautiful, and I know you know her. Denise Oyer is uh, probably one of the most recognized faces in New York. She's got great stories to tell us, but she's our co-host tonight. So please welcome Denise. I'm delighted. Buenas noches a todos. Están pasando bien. I'm delighted to join you again. We did this a couple of years ago at the Pier Hotel on behalf of the Puerto Rican Family Institute. And, I'm, and you know where I was this morning? In uh, I think you were on Good Day New York, right? That's right, Fox. And now I'm with you again. It must be a Fox thing. And I'm so lucky. I'm so happy to be here. A pasarla bien. Thank you very much, Denise. Denise is going to be part of our program tonight. You know, it's always nice when you look out and you see friends and people who have been here for so many years. How many years have we been doing this now? It's been five, six years I've been hosting the event and also part of the parade. But you know, you look out and you see family and you feel the warmth and, and the, the genuine spirit of why you're here. And so many times when we're covering the news, Denise, you know, there are so many negative stories that we report. I don't have to tell you. You turn on television, you listen to the radio, you're on the internet, and you know how terrible things can be sometimes. And it becomes very depressing in many ways to have to report some of these stories and for you to sit there and read it. I always say that I come on the news at night and I say, good evening, and then I tell people why it's not. I've been feeling too for so many, many years, for 20 years when I did the news. Yeah. And you know what? Right after 9-11, which was so devastating for all of us, that's when I decided to go into culinary arts, to go into something very positive. And I don't know if you know what I was doing this morning at Good Day New York was the cooking segment. <laughs> yes. Which is always a nice thing. All of these things. You know what? It's always news. I feel I'm a journalist, always a journalist, but now focused on culinary. Well, you know, that's a good thing, too, because I think that in a nutshell, what we're all looking for is to be able to take some of the things that concern us and our families and our loved ones and things that are happening here in New York and also around the world and looking for more positive things to talk about something that makes us all feel better and as we said earlier making a difference which is what the Puerto Rican Family Institute does has done for so many decades I've known Marielena Gironi and the board which I've been part of for many many years and uh, I'm, I'm delighted I'm thrilled and I'm honored to be a part of this organization because I know the good work they do Dia a dia. Very nice. And you know what, Maria Elena, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to dance with you later on because I know that every time no, every time we, we, we get together, we always have a dance. So we have to swing around I'll do a little salsa too with you, okay? You like that? Ah, arriba, whipa! Come on, let's go. And and she's the lady in red tonight. I love that dress. Lady in red. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, listen, we're going to continue the program because now it's uh, my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mildred, Adam, uh, Mildred, Mildred Allen. I have to stop drinking in between shows. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't drink at all. Uh, president of the Hope for Families Children Foundation Incorporated. So please welcome Dr. Mildred Allen is with us tonight. Here we are. Bienvenidos. Hawaii, honey. Here we are. For you? 
<laughs> well, um, it was really great to meet so our old friends and to welcome new friends tonight. And it's going to be a great night. And it's going to be a great night because you're here to dance for the children of the Institute and to support the Foundation Scholarship Fund. Tonight, we are also uh, paying tribute to our corporate friends, uh, corporate friends who meet their social responsibility every day by helping families and children in need. And to them, uh, we owe a debt of gratitude because they have supported our mission through many, many, many years. And before we present our portraits of social responsibility, um, please allow me to say thank you to all of you and thank you to our Office of Development and the volunteers and staff who worked so hard to make this a success. And now allow you to present portraits in social responsibility. The Puerto Rican Family Institute is doing an excellent job in the community and American Airlines is really proud to be part of this effort. So American Airlines is look, always looking for ways to help the community and the Puerto Rican Family Institute, they are doing an excellent job. They are serving the community and that's why it's important for American Airlines to support this organization. I think we've been the longest running supporter of the Puerto Rican Family Institute for over 25 years and we've helped in, in different programs and it's our way of working with the community you know the the the, the uh, the people who use the services of the Puerto Rican Family Institute, there are there are consumers, there there are community. So we believe in helping organizations that help our community and help our consumers. When they started, there was uh, Puerto Ricans and Latinos were basically synonymous in New York City, but that has that has changed, and so has the Puerto Rican Family Institute. Uh, if you go and, and and see one of their programs now, you'll see people from all different types of nationalities in different countries and that they're supporting and there's still a need to help those people, immigrants that are coming into this country that need support and, and we're just glad that, that Goya is able to support these, uh, these folks through the Puerto Rican Family Institute. Well, the Puerto Rican Family Institute is a huge asset to the New York City community and beyond, really but it's a huge asset to the community and we believe in supporting organizations such as the Puerto Rican Family Institute that are on the front lines doing great work for all of our community. I love the gala. The gala is fun. It's always a party. A party with a purpose is what I say. It's a party with a good cause and I'm glad that we've been able to support it for, for many years. Um, certainly as long as I've been in this job we've been supporting it and that's, that's 10 years now. We're thrilled to be working with the Puerto Rican Family Institute, but I think it's also important to celebrate the great accomplishment that the institution has had due to the great work of an extraordinary person in the body of Maria Elena. Maria Elena's efforts are second to none, and the Puerto Rican Family Institute would not be where they are now if it weren't for her 50 plus years of commitment to the institution. Now to Univision, uh, it's a very important and significant moment because I think that our causes are very similar to the Puerto Rican Family Institute. Uh, not only do we entertain, but we also need to empower and we need to inform our viewers. And through institutions such as hers, we're able to commit ourselves to the community and to see the benefit of all of these people when they participate in these wonderful programs. It's, it's great, it's what it's all about. Otto has always been a supporter of the work that the Puerto Rican Family Institute does here. In many ways, we have very similar histories. Uh, we have a lot of synergy together. In the Puerto Rican Family Institute, 